Well, finals. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it looked like he had a very similar game plan to just dying in the Olympics. He's trying to dig that hook. He wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot more than that. Um, does that surprise you at all? People have been trying to slow me down since I was 10. You know, it hasn't changed. It's just a different level each time. Different set of expectations. So, I mean, you're not going to wrestle my pace. We know that. So it's about making adjustments. Get a good game plan ready to go. He you know, gets first takedown, but now he's got however much, what, five minutes? No one I'm coming for five. So it was good. He was prepared. I mean, I know he's a good, good skilled guy. Um, he's had good results. Um, but here we're the championship, so one match at a time. Maybe yeah. Good. I, I was just going to ask about the fall you just got. I mean, it's like I was watching a, a, a kid's match where you were able to get in deep and just run them over. Is that something you look for when you're working off that turn? I just go for the get him deep and run him over. Yeah. Well, you know? <laughs> but no, I mean, I, but you had it tight, man. That's like. I, gotta, I mean, I got I got a big. My background's in folk style wrestling. Right. And I'm a dangerous freestyle wrestler because I can score so many positions. And it's just about adapting, finding ways to make that stuff work, you know. And uh, you never know. When you don't do it, it's there. You practice it all the time. It doesn't work the same. You know, when the world championship, when people really want to win, and they want to scramble a little longer. Uh, that kind of stuff opens up for me. David, what are you think when you, for fourth round, when you, when Hassan Yazdani go to final? Hey, Yazdani's got a battle right now. You hear the Iranian He can't it. take this one for granted. This was a close match the Olympics, very close match, close to the score. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see, we'll see which guy prevails in this match. Either way, it's gonna be very tough. So I'm ready, I'm looking forward to it. You know, many Iranian people, they have respect to you they, because you are a professional wrestler and uh, do you want something to tell to Iranian people? Yeah, I mean, obviously, very loyal fan base over there uh, for Yazdani. I mean, he's a he's a world world around celebrity, especially in their country. You know, so obviously, I have the honor to wrestle some of that caliber. I mean, I'm I'm thankful for that, I'm grateful for that opportunity to wrestle him. He's pushing me to get better every single day, so it's good. You know, thank the people, thank my competitors, but I'm here to win. You know, so the better guys, you know, ultimately, the better I'm going to be when I show up. Any challenges keeping sharp after the Olympics and having to peak again just a short time later? It's kind of unique, right? It's tough. You know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. There's two of us that have a chance to double up men's freestyle in the history of wrestling. You know, so that's, don't take that for granted by any means. Um, but it's a tournament. You know, it's another tournament. It's a big tournament. And uh, we all went through the same difficulties preparing, you know, obviously whatever is going into this. But we're here. I feel great. Now it's time to get down away for tomorrow. And, Another world championship, you know, that's going to be pretty special. Team USA, three guys in the finals. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about winning this as a team. Does it feel good to be doing your part at this point? Absolutely. You know, I mean, we have a great team. You know, we, a lot of countries chose to kind of take this one off, which I think is a big mistake. You know, you only get so many healthy world championship opportunities. You know, you got to show up. We showed up here. We have a great team, and we're performing really well today. we got to keep it rolling. Uh, hopefully we can set the tone for the next couple of days. But, you know, obviously being on a great team just motivates us all to get a little bit better. David, uh, two high-profile finals for you in just two months, so talk about your mindset for both of them. Ah, it's great. I mean, it's going to be tough. I knew going into this, you know, obviously, there's just, you win an Olympic gold medal, win a world championship, that's not easy, especially some of the caliber of either Nafanov or Yazdani, either one of those guys is really good. So, what, you just, it's a good opportunity. You know, I'm healthy, I'm here, and I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Obviously, it's one match at a time, but... When you see 3-0 in a rivalry, when does it become just another match and not a rivalry? It's still a match, you know, it doesn't matter. I've been I've been in a lot of big matches in my life. I mean, you can name them. Half the guys are on USC right now. So mm -hmm. I've been prepared for these moments. It's uh, You win some, you lose some, you learn the entire time as a competitor. Uh, but again, you've got to be ready to bring it for tomorrow for six minutes. No matter who steps on the mat tomorrow, they're going to be prepared, have a great game plan. I have a great game plan, and I'm ready to go. Excellent. Hey, thanks, David. Yeah, thank you guys. Stay well.